What's going on, guys? Uh, today I wanted to, this is a little bit different than most of the videos you'll find on my channel, but um, today I wanted to show you an issue with PowerPoint and how to fix it permanently. Um, this, this is a big problem when you're in conference rooms, um, maybe classroom settings. And basically what it is, is if we open PowerPoint here, I'll just open a, a template. Basically, if you go to the slideshow tab, see this use presenter view? If you show the slide on one, uh, if you're showing it on multiple screens, say you have a laptop hooked to a projector, you'll see this screen on one of them. And you'll see this screen on the other one. This is the presenter view. And so in order to change that, you have to open the, the slideshow, and then you have to go to duplicate slideshow instead of extend. Uh, right now it's on extended. So you can fix this yourself by unchecking that. Um, as long as you stay logged in, you can open it again or any slideshow and that'll still be unchecked. But whenever you reboot your computer or sign out, that goes back to default, which isn't, which is checked. Um, so some users, especially in a corporation, <clears throat> excuse me, or an organization might want it to where when everybody, whenever anyone signs in or logs in, this is automatically unchecked and it goes to duplicate view. That way, if you're showing on multiple monitors, um, you don't get the presenter view. The registry key for this, let me just navigate there so we can follow along. H key current user, uh, software under Microsoft, Office, and then it's going to be depending on if you're using 2013 or 2016, it'll be either 16.0 or 15.0. And then go to PowerPoint and then options, this key right here, uh, use mon MGR. If this, if you go into here and this is not here, open PowerPoint, uncheck this and close PowerPoint, and it should show up. If you modify this, um zero is unchecked one is checked by default it's set to one um problem is is if you change if you change this to zero it just changes it again the next time you log in um it doesn't it doesn't it saves it until you log out and log back in then it just goes back to normal so what i did to actually fix this was I had the idea of how can we get this registry key to always be at zero whenever a user logs in. And so what I did was I created a batch file and I wrote it into the batch file. Then I took the batch file and if you're using Windows 10, you can just type in run and then type in shell common startup. This is the all user startup folder. You can navigate to it as well. Uh, just go to whatever your local disk is. It's usually C program data, which if you don't see program data, it's a hidden folder. So you'll have to go to view options. You probably know how to do this. Change folder and search options. Go to view and just click on show hidden files and folders. And then you'll see the program data. Then go to Microsoft, Windows, Start Menu, Programs, Startup. Anything that's in this folder will start up automatically when the, when the user logs into Windows. doesn't matter which user it is. So if we... All you got to do is create this batch file, which again, I'll pull it up and show you. And to create the batch file, all you have to do is go to notepad. Okay. Um, I'll, I'll put this in the link down below. 
but you you basically can copy this. Just change right here where it says 16.0. If you're running PowerPoint 2013, change that to 15.0. You just copy this, put it into the notepad, click File, Save As, save it wherever you want to save it. But the extension that you're going to put on it is changes.txt to .bat, which will create the batch file. So you can just call it, you know, PowerPoint.bat. That'll make it a batch file, okay? Um, don't save. So what I did was just saved it to my desktop, and then you can move it over into this folder. Takes it a second. So then once you do that, just log out of Windows. You don't even have to reboot or anything. Log out of Windows and log back in. Every time you log in, it's going to run this batch file, which is going to change that registry key. The only downfall to this, which there doesn't seem to be a workaround fix for it, is um, once, you're, once you're logged into Windows, and this has already run and changed that setting, um it if you go in here and you change it manually while you're logged into windows and then close it it's going to remember this until the next time you log out of windows and then it'll run the batch file again so if you turn presenter view on because you want it and then you close powerpoint and you open another presentation this will be checked again unless you log out of windows and log back in that's the only downfall to it but i'll show you right now Use presenter view is on. Okay, I'll open it again. I said I'll open it again. Okay, we'll go to this. Go to create. And it's checked again. Okay, so if I go into, if I were on multiple screens, I would see this on one of my screens. Okay, but you can see right here, use presenter view is checked. I'm going to leave it checked, close it, and I'll just run this batch file. Okay, which is, this This just simulates when you log into Windows, it'll run that batch file. So when you open PowerPoint, go into here, now it's unchecked. That batch file ran, changed the registry key right, up, right upon login, and disabled presenter view. And hopefully, this is a problem that I was doing a lot of research on, and I could find how to go in here and change this, which which we probably all know. But or to even change the registry key, but not to get it to stay that way. This is sort of a workaround. It's not really a fix, but it's a workaround on how to get it to, by default, be deselected um, when the user logs in. Again, once the user changes this, it's going to remember it until the next time they log out and log back in and the batch file runs. Hope this helped. If it did, leave a comment below. Feel free to share the video. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you next time.